welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Master Data Management Trigger Configuration. In this demonstration, we will take a look at configuring the message queue in the application server, registering the message queue in the MDM hub, and configuring a message trigger. We will edit the standalone conf.xml since we are going to work on JBoss 6.4 EAP and restart the JBoss so the message queue takes effect. Then we register the message queue within the MDM hub and configure the message queues. Let's take a look at the demonstration. This is my test instance. I've already installed the MDM 10.2 with the JBoss 6.4 EAP and I've installed the JBoss in my C drive. So if I go into my C drive, the JBoss installation folder, all the way into the standalone configuration, we will find the standalone full.xml. We will need to edit the XML file to add the message queue definition here and you would want to search for a word called as destination and you would see the list of all the message queues. We could simply copy the JMS queue, it's the XML tag, and paste it just before the JMS destination and change the name of the queue to let's say MDM queue. Same thing again here. and here. So once the message queues have been added, save the XML file and then restart the JBoss. Once the JBoss is up, the message queue should be available for us to use within the MDM hub. You could also confirm this through the JBoss's admin console. The message queue will appear in the admin console of JBoss. Launch the MDM hub and log in with the admin credentials and connect to the master repository and then click the message queues on the left hand side. Then acquire a right lock right click and say add message queue server in the connection name factory you would want to type cyperion.mrm.jms.xa connection factory the display name will be populated automatically then do a right click again and add a message queue this time you would add the message queue that you have added in the standalone full.conf.xml copy the entire text here and then paste it in the queue name. Again, the display name will populate automatically. Click test. It should succeed. Then select the option use with message triggers and then save this. We have now registered the message queue that we have defined in the JBoss within the MDM hub. Now click schema and then go to a base object. In this case we will select the base object party and within the party we would select the message trigger setup and then acquire a right lock and click add message trigger. We'll give it some name here. We'll simply call this as party underscore trigger and we'll select a package select the message queue that you have added earlier and here on the left hand side you see all the conditions all the events and towards the right hand side we see the systems so in this case if we add new data from any of these systems into the party base object we would want to see a trigger. Similarly, we could select the merge, unmerge, update, or even delete options. 
and then click finish to save the message trigger setup. Every time a trigger happens, the MDM will put the corresponding records in a metadata table. This table's name is C underscore repos underscore MQ data change. So we switch to a SQL client, in this case SQL developer, and then navigate to the table that is the C repos MQ data change. At this time, this table will be empty because we haven't triggered anything just yet. When we add a new record, MDM will put the corresponding values here. So let's switch back to the MDM hub and go into the data manager, select the base object as party, we'll select a put package. And then we'll complete the wizard. So now we will go ahead and add a new record. Let's say the display name here is Informatica and the party type is an organization and it is active. So if I click OK here, but before I do that, let's take a look at the CDPOS MQ data change. It is empty. I'll come back into the MDM hub and save the record. So we have added a record through the MDM hub and the message has been triggered. Here is the table that logs the messages. So observe the row ID object here will match with the row ID object here. This is how MDM puts messages in the CDPOS MQ data change. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.